So uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Anas, uh, 24 years old. So I'm going to to meet this very great. <laughs> and, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm the kind of people that I like to I like to to wake, to wake up at 5 a.m. And thank uh, for hand, must. And also, if I wake up at 12 a.m. or at any other time, thank you for uh, for hand, must. Why? Because uh, I I work. Even if I even if I work, I uh, I do I do sleep uh, whenever I want and wake up whenever I want. And also, I can work in anywhere I want. Like I can work. At, at home in a cafe or even like uh, next to the beach, it's uh, it's fine for me. So what is my job? I'm a uh, freelancer. So I do freelancing in uh, content creation and uh, community management. So including my, my clients, including the audience, I work with H uh, and M. I work with Samsung. And I also work with Accor Hotels. Accor Hotels is the leader of uh, hotels in, in the world. <coughs> so, so let's let's start out with my with my uh, with my uh, what, what I did for like at the beginning. So when I was uh, 16 years old, I was studying at CDM, the first year of uh, of the second year of high school, and I I felt Manjic start, and uh, I learned from that that I need to assume my responsibilities because also my parents told me that I need to to assume my responsibilities. I need to be like I need to be responsible, and that taught me for the future that I need to be working more and harder. So when I got my, my high school degree, I went to the university to study economics. And at the same time I was having a I was having a hobby of photography. So I like photography and videography. So this is what I, what, what content creation means. And uh, once, once I, I, once I, I learned a little bit about photography, because my friends had cameras, but I was the only one didn't have a camera. And the reason why, because my family isn't, it can't afford buy me a camera. So I found out the solution is that I met a proper, a proper. Uh, a uh, guest house, guest house like uh, owner, and she liked she liked my Instagram photos. She was like always because I, I used to share I used to share my photos on Instagram. So she looked at my photos and she told me, "Your photos are great, and I want you to work to work for me to take photos for me." So I borrowed a camera from a friend of mine. And I went to her. I was really afraid of taking pictures of her real because it, it was my first time working in as like a professional photographer and videographer. <coughs> so I encouraged myself and I went to the real and took the photos and I showed her the results. She was really happy about them. And she paid me three thousand dirham. So it means a ten of them. So that was enough to buy like a small camera to start, and that was the beginning of the adventure. At that time, I decided that I need to give a chance to this career. I need to to like be more happy about it. Like 
I was, I was, I was really focusing on my studies in university. I was, start, I was studying marketing. At the university, I was preparing for my bachelor degree, which is bloody science, and I was really thinking about doing master degree because it's really interesting to have a master degree in Morocco. But I was also thinking about my photography and content creation and community management career. So I was really lost between both of them, and at the same time, I can't do both of them at the same time. So I took my time and I thought about it and I chose I sh I like started, started to go at the photography and then event integration community management career. And after that I needed I needed to get to get more jobs. I I tried I tried to get more jobs. At, at one at one one time I couldn't get more projects and I couldn't get more clients. So I, I, I took my time again and I thought about it. Like I said, I need to get more clients. So I, I learned more about emailing. So I sent more emails to, to clients. And that, at that time, I could, I, I did get like a contract with Accor Hotels, which I work with now as a freelancer. For, like, and they, uh, and uh, they, uh, I can make my living working with them. So, what what I want to tell you about, like in like in general, is that we need to take risks because I I did take the risk to, I did take the risk and I gave up my studies to go, like to go to to my passion, like, to follow my passion. And I want you all to do the same because even if like like don't let anyone force you to force you to do something because if you don't take the risks you will work for something who, so for someone who who, will, who takes the risks so I would like to thank uh, Elsa and Felix for this for this uh, event and thank you for having me and. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.